Hi YouTubers, in this quick tutorial I want to show you a few important things to note about certain hardware components of a computer. A friend of mine called Ollie has inspired me to make this quick video, so Ollie, this one's for you. There seems to be a lot of confusion as to what components do what in a PC. Many people nowadays are buying laptops, and don't get me wrong, these are great for schoolwork, social networking and stuff, but for playing games, they're not so good. Also, because they're portable, they're more likely to suffer damage. Whereas a home computer workstation stays where it is and doesn't move. Also, what can you upgrade in a laptop? You can upgrade the RAM or hard drive. Very rarely, depending on how expensive your laptop is, sometimes you can upgrade the graphics. Whereas a home computer workstation you can pretty much upgrade everything. So let's have a look inside a PC and I'll explain the important things you need to know. A computer is made up of the box, but don't be fooled on how good the box looks. It doesn't necessarily mean the PC is any good. The motherboard is where all the other hardware components connect to and how everything can interact with each other. I like to look at this as dad is the hard drive, the brother is the graphics card, the sister is the RAM and mum is the motherboard telling everybody what to do. So the first two things that I will start with are the RAM and the hard drive because I think that's where most people get very confused. The RAM is short term memory. The more you have the more things that can be remembered at the same time. It's not a permanent storage like a hard drive. Imagine the RAM is a tabletop. And on my table, I have a Word document, so let's put it here. And then I have an Excel spreadsheet, I'll put it here. And I also view a web page, so let's put that here. And now I want to listen to an MP3. I now want to look at a photograph, but I don't have enough room on my tabletop, so I need to move something off to put my picture here. So let's move off the web page. OK, but I want to look at the web page again and still listen to my music. So let's move off the picture and bring back my web page. Now the problem is it takes a long time to keep moving things on and off my table. If only my table was big enough, I could look at a load of things at the same time. That's better. Now I can have access to everything fast and even more. So imagine my small table was 4 gigabytes and my larger table is 8 gigabytes of RAM. Let's move on to the hard drive. This is where I store all of my important files like music, pictures, documents and video games. Today it's common to have hard drives that can store hundreds of gigabytes. An average computer will have a hard drive storage of around 500 gigabytes or even 1000 gigabytes which is known as a terabyte. Now I can go on about all the other hardware components of the computer and I will if enough people want me to by making comments on this video below. So for now, let's leave this tutorial as done and I hope you understand the differences now between RAM, random access memory, which is short term memory, and hard drive space. Thanks for watching.